we got a 2024 Rancher 420 here. What we're going to do is be changing the oil today. All right, for starters, got my 17 millimeter wrench. Opened up the filler, which this just pops out right here. It slides out this way. Unscrewed it. So we'll have airflow to drain the fuel faster. And it had been running for a little bit just to warm up the oil. And it'll be a little thinner, not as thick. So we're going to come under here. And you guys probably can't see that. It's this hole right here is a bolt. We're going to reach up in here. Right there break it loose so once we got that broke loose we're gonna this is our oil catch pan we're gonna go ahead and screw that slowly I'm gonna drag that pan over and have my finger I'm undoing that bolt right now so I can catch that bolt and let the oil drain. There we go. So there's the bolt. All right, so now that we got the bolt out, we're gonna take off this washer. It's technically a crush washer. You can see a little bit if there's a ring around it that's been crushed we're going to replace that with a new one and go ahead and toss this one so got our new one over here where our parts were just going to go over like that once we're done draining the oil and still have that open to help make the flow go faster you can see it's still going. Once it's done, I'll go ahead and put this in. Well, that's still draining. I'm going to go ahead and move to this quad, which is the same exact thing, but an older version. And go ahead and start changing the oil on this 2016. All right. So we got our new crush washer on here. We're gonna go ahead and hand tighten it. Once you got it tightened, grab our wrench ratchet, get the 17 millimeter. Put it on there. 35 foot pound torque. Alright. Now on to the filter. So we need to take off the seat. So push the lever back there. We're going to need to take off this plastic right here to be able to access behind it to get to the oil so filter screwdriver just get between here and pop it up slides right out that's your middle you don't want to lose that put that there and then i'll just pull out on that go ahead and pop this out there will be a rivet here you can see that bushing down there and this part will come up as there's one right there. And then there should be a center one right there. So that will flap up like this and you'll have a wing. You will move that out of the way. And that's what we want to access for the 
foil filter. Alright, so I got my catch bucket here. Just gonna put it under there if anything drops out from the filter. We got our 8mm ratchet and socket. We're just gonna take that off. Break each one of those loose. You can see it dripping right there. That's why we put our catch pan right there. You will have some resistance in doing it. Taking off the last one. Catch up. Be somewhere safe. I'm gonna add it to the little river up here. Just put them right there. A little parts tray. And we'll take out our old filter. That's it. We'll dump that in the bucket. And take this with us. Okay, so we got our parts here. We have this o ring which will be coming down here to this oil port right here. We're going to need to take that one out. You can see that. We'll need a little screwdriver or a pick to get that out without scarring the aluminum casing. O-ring for this, which we'll be replacing. See if I can do this one-handed Why? video. So just get right under it. Just get the rubber piece. You don't want to get the casing and scar it all up. I'm going to go on the inside. May need to get a knife. There we go. So that one, we'll be tossing that. And grab our new one down here. Just put it right in place. Won't hurt to put a little oil on it. Doesn't need a whole lot. We'll open this. The oil filter. And then this side, you can see it springing towards the engine so you want it like that with the gasket facing out. It's just the way it's uh, made, so you definitely want to follow the instructions on that, have that gasket facing out. So it'll probably be way better performance wise for cleaning the oil. So filtering it so let's go ahead and get this off that one you probably don't necessarily need to change these ever every oil change but it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt to change it every oil change um, you just don't want to keep it the same one forever at least it will get flat and then you'll just end up leaking oil everywhere so I'm just gonna rest it on our filter there if they'll stay we have to actually get one of our screws we'll grab all three from our beautiful parts tray here Take it, flip it upside down. This part faces out towards that oil port. Okay, got that one started. Just go ahead and get all of them started. Get your eight millimeter.
Gonna put back on the wrench here. Snug it down. My guess is torque specs, I believe on these are about 15 pounds. If I had to guess just the size they are. Or, and that would be like foot pounds. And then we'll put this back. Go ahead and toss these, we don't need those. Putting this side back together. So it goes straight down. You can see the two grooves here. So it goes straight down into that. And then you can get your grommets lined up down here. You can do this one. That slides on right there. It presses in to there. Goes like that. And then you should just be able to pull this one back. It's kind of hard to do it just with one hand. And pop it in to this grommet right there, which I'm gonna have to use both my hands. And then there's one, another grommet right here in the front. You're going to want to pull forward and end on that. Don't forget our plastic rivet. Put that back in there. Once it's in, press down. Get that seat on in the front, press down, you're locked and ready to go. Now that we finished up the filter and draining the oil, now we're going to fill it up. Pulling the dipstick out, the center up here. Got a filter with a long neck just so I can reach in there and fill her to 3.8 quarts and then fill her up. All right, we'll run that and then I'll put the dipstick back in, we'll check the fuel, the oil level, and then if we need to top it off, we will. But that should be about good. So let's put this in here. Let's start her up. I'll let her run a little bit. Check the oil level again. Feel focus. There you go. You can see the where the crisscross ribs are. That's full. So it's ready to go. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun riding. Stay safe. Like and subscribe.